god. We done got long. Tommy. I tell ya. Chef kiss. Hello. Hello from New York. Let's get ready together. Hello cousins, welcome, welcome back to my channel. And we're in New York, we're in New York for five days. Today's actually our second to last day here. And I thought I would do a get rid of me because the makeup that I've been doing in New York has been, it's been eating, okay? Like I've got so many compliments. Like the people out here in New York are so, so nice. Like I get so many compliments on my makeup, like whenever we go out. So I thought I would show you guys the look that I've been doing and the products that I brought with me on this trip. And I feel like every trip, I'm gonna show you guys the makeup that I bring with me, just so you guys can know my current favorite and the makeup that was, that looks good. The lighting might be getting in an hour and the mirror is like right in front of me. So if you guys see me looking this way, that's the reason why. Today we're actually going out to go do our last minute shopping. Got my hot chocolate right here from Dunkin Donuts, so. Let's get right together, okay? So starting off, I have been using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. The weather in New York is so cold, so like I have been double moisturizing my skin. So I might look very greasy. The makeup look is still gonna give like a satin matte, you know, natural finish feel to it, so don't worry. We've got a little unwanted friend right there, but we keep it moving. I have gone in already and done all my skincare. Oh, look at that. That is a goddamn beast. Like, what? After the magic cream, I'm going in now with my Elf Sun Touchable Wild Glow Primer. This is an SPF and a primer. Turn one, we love that. I'm gonna massage this on as well. This New York trip actually has been really good. Alhamdulillah. Been eating a lot of food, I feel like that might be the reason that I've got this friend right here. Do not stay here, we are staying in the Arlo Nomad Hotel in Manhattan. One thing I like about this um, hotel, everything is like a walking distance. Um, I could go to Times Square, we walked to Times Square yesterday, which was really fun. We walked to Central Park as well, which is like a 20 minute walk. But the only thing is that finding halal food in Manhattan is quite hard. So you do have to go to Brooklyn to get like, halal food, like halal restaurants. Like yesterday we went there as well. We went to like Mr. Chang Halal Chinese, which was really, really delicious by the way. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Dewey Sets Mist. But in terms of like halal food and halal restaurants, you do need to go to Brooklyn to get that. And there's like a whole strip of like halal restaurants over there. But over here it's quite harder to find halal restaurants. The one thing I would say, Uber, like Uber Eats here is trash. Why is it taking over an hour of our food to get to us? Like the food is actually cold. <laughs> what? I have been doing things a little bit different during this trip with my makeup. So, well, the next step is not really a new trick, but my whole routine has kind of changed. I'm going in with my Revolution Conceal and Fix Concealer in the shade Deep Dark. I applied it under my eyes, like so. Just use that to cancel out my dark circles. I really, really like this concealer. Like, it literally gets me right in whatever country I'm in. But yeah, I would say New York's been amazing. Like, it's my first time in America, and honestly, love the people here. Like, so nice. Everyone's super friendly. Uh, everyone's super helpful as well. Like, we went to a cafe the other day. There was only like two seats in the cafe. There was a lady in there and she was holding a seat for her friend that was coming to meet her. Obviously she saw that me and my partner was just like, we just arrived and we just wanted to get some food. She literally gave up the only two seats in the restaurant for us to like sit down after like just two minutes of talking to her, which I think was just so kind because ain't nobody doing that in London, okay? No one's getting that giving up their seats for you. It's like all the best. But yeah, like I feel like that was so, so nice. Even though, like when we went to Macy's, when we went to Sephora, everyone was just like super helpful, like um, like wanting to help, which I think is just super cute. And like, just so nice. Coming back to New York, I don't think I'll come during winter because <laughs> the winter here is winter, okay? Like it is cold. AF, okay? I think I'll probably come during like spring, summer, just because, me and the cold, we don't get along, okay? We don't, we don't get along. <laughs> I'm not a winter babe. 
it's not really what I want, it's not what I'm about, you know? This hotel room is really, really small compared to like, like other hotels and like other places that we've been to, but it's also like really nice as well. It's doable, it's very, very much doable. In terms of space wise, it isn't that big. Like this is the bathroom here. The sink is right here in the, for the bathroom. <laughs> and the bed's over there. We've got a TV and a little island and a mini closet. That's literally it. But the rooftop is really pretty at night time. They have a little like studio area on level two where you can just like go there and just like work, which I think it's really nice. Having like a work area, pretty much. I'm gonna blend that out further to make sure that everything is nicely blended. The light might go in and out because the sun is like behind the cloud. There's really a lot of tall buildings around here. That's something that we noticed as well. That like in Manhattan, you have like the tall buildings, but in Brooklyn, it's like not tall buildings. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. And everything here is expensive. If you're planning to come to New York, get ready to spend, okay? Like everything here, expensive yeah even like no taxis like taxis food crazy next we're going in with the huda beauty concealer in the shade butterscotch i'm gonna place this just underneath my eyes for now and then i go in and just blend that out New York is really nice, like, it's really pretty it's definitely giving london vibes but just nicer and everything's more accessible here. I can see myself living in America, but I can't see myself living in New York, because I just don't, I don't do the cold. I feel like I can see myself living in LA, but I haven't been there yet, so I can't really say that. But just because I heard it's always hot around there, like for all, all year round. Like America just has everything that like, you will need. In terms of like makeup, it literally has everything. Mm -hmm. This hot chocolate. Bussin. The Turkey English Breakfast Bagel. <sniffs> Chef Kiss. Next we are going in with the Huda Beauty Concealer again, but this time in the shade Chocolate Chip. I'm just gonna place that all over in the usual areas that I contour. And then we're just gonna blend her out. For some reason I decided to do my makeup in this form on the strip and it's literally been like looking good like every single day that I've put makeup I normally don't put makeup every single day but this trip I have been I don't know why but it's just been it's just been a thing that I've been doing and it's been looking real good so this makeup will have you looking good all day during winter in New York this spot is really really good on my nerves Nah, she is huge. Oh my god, I didn't know it was this big. She is ginormous. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Snatch my nose. Like so. The sun is out right now, but like, it is so cold outside. Like two, three days ago, I got fooled by the sun outside and I wore light layers because I thought it might be, you know, given warmth. It's cold, okay, it's it's cold. Next for foundation, I have been using my Surreal Skin Foundation by Makeup by Mario. I am in the shade 27W in this. I'm just gonna grab a pump. This foundation is making my skin look during this whole stay. Like, I have been loving the way my skin has been looking in pictures, in videos, like in real life. It's just been amazing. And what I like to do is just carve out my contour with this. And the bronzer that I used up, a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and a little bit on my mouth area. And that should be enough. I'm gonna start blending and just clean up my bronzer with this. Because before my bronzer was very much, you know, down and everywhere, the foundation just allows it to be cleaned a little bit. And then I do go over my contour with this as well, but lightly. Like so. Now, so now you can't even see the harsh line. Like I won't lie, I have been like shitting on this foundation for the longest time, but that's because of the shade range. But the actual product itself, amazing, like it's really nice. It's just a shame that the shade range isn't bussing, but really, really good foundation. You guys see the harsh line? Grab your foundation brush and just tap over it just slightly. So it doesn't look too harsh, it just looks, you know, blended and flawless and that's what we want we don't want no harshness we don't want no higgy hagger makeup we want clean tap 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 
Next, go back in with my Huda Beauty concealer. I'm just gonna highlight everywhere else now, including my under eye again. I know I'm using a lot of concealers, but it's fine. And whilst this is drying down, I'm gonna go with my Juvia's Place Eye Magic Conceal. No, it is the Juvia's Place Eye Magic Counter Stick in the shade Congo. I need to pick up another one of these. Might as well pick it up whilst I'm here. I'm gonna grab the same brush, but on the longer part of my brush. <laughs> Tap a little bit on my brush. I'm just gonna deepen up my contour with it, but not too harshly, so I'll just do that. And then flip my brush to the other side and then just tap it to like blend it out. Like so, so it doesn't look as a harsh. I am also vlogging this trip as well. I don't know which one's gonna come out first, either this video or the vlog video. If it's this video first, stay tuned for the vlog. If it's the vlog first, I will attach this video to the vlog so you can see. Now we just go in and start blending our top concealer. For cream blush, we're using the Juvia's Place Liquid Blush in the shade Lily Lau. And I've been applying this quite heavily, to be fair, because I love this shade. It's just so, so pretty. I go ham with the shade. And I don't feel any type of way about it. <laughs> I managed to pick up a lot of makeup products here which i am so excited about it's like products i can't get in the uk like ulta beauty we've got some stuff from tula the one thing i was really really looking forward to was these foundations from l'oreal look at the shades of that from l'oreal and maybelline i can't find it it's, it's in here somewhere. I have seen them in so many of like American beauty influencers. I just can't get it because one, the shade don't run that deep in the UK and a particular foundation, we don't have it in the UK either. So I really try to get all the stuff that I can't get in the UK. Even though some stuff I can get in the UK, I just haven't just picked it up here. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm so happy that I was able to get it. Now I'm just getting back here with a foundation brush and just blending everything together to make sure there's no like harsh lines and can you believe that yeah during my entire stay here i have not applied a brighter under eye concealer can we believe it for some reason i just didn't feel like i needed to don't get me wrong i did bring my brighten under eye concealers i got my next one i can't stop one stop concealer in the shade warm caramel and my huda beauty concealer again in the shade peanut butter i don't know i just didn't feel like i needed to which is very 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 weird for me but i've been liking how my makeup's been looking without it next we're going to lightly set the highlighted areas and i'm using my elf sheer tint finishing powder this baby goes everywhere with me this is my new one and i'm already hitting pan on it like i literally got this i want to say last month actually been helping as well with my smile lines like, i just lightly set it as well this is honestly one of my holidays must have this product goes everywhere with me next laura my stage translucent setting powder in the shade honey to properly set our concealers so they don't budge throughout the day Open it on my honey Lux collection powder puff and we're just gonna go to town Next, our Revolution Pro CC Perfect Tint Press Powder. I kind of break mine a little bit here. I kind of dropped on the floor as I was getting ready the other day, but still got a little bit left that I can use. We're just gonna set an entire face with this. Something a little bit different that I've been doing during this strip. I've been grabbing my Juvia's Place um, press powder in the shade Niger. I've been grabbing it first, which is the deeper shade that I used to bronze with, and lightly placing this on top of my bronzer. It's gonna look a little bit harsh at first, but it will look smooth at the end. I'm just gonna lightly just apply this in all the areas, except for my nose, where I applied my bronzer. For the eyes, I think it's kind of really, really simple. Just going in now and just like, 
removing the creases of the concealer off my eyes. And then I'm just gonna set it with my e.l.f. Sheer Tint Powder. For eyes, the eyeshadow palette that I brought with me is my Colourpop Not A Box Of Chocolate eyeshadow palette. It is my go-to. It has everything I need in it. And I literally just used three shades on my eyes throughout this whole trip. So starting off with the shade Crazy For Coco, which is this shade right here. Placing this in my crease and just blending it upwards. Now this eyeshadow look is so simple. You can literally do this eye look in like two minutes. Just grabbing that shade on my outer corners. And then blending it into my crease and then working it up as well. And then we deepen up the crease with the shade that's rich. Which is this shade right here. Just deepen up that crease shade. And then going in with the shade Tiramisu. Just to lightly diffuse the first shade that we used. And that is pretty much it for the eyes. Like very simple, very quick to do that's cold. Now we're just going to dust off the excess powder off our face. We add in a smidge of the brown shade that we just used on the lid on our lower lash line as well. Just smeg it out a little bit. So now to like lightly bronze, I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is in shade four. And we're just gonna bronze up the face with this and like lighten up the dark shade that we used earlier on. So it's not as harsh. And this is the shade that I use for my nose. Before we go in and set the face, I'm gonna go in with my She Glam Eyeliner Pencil. I have been really enjoying this. What I do is just put it in my eyes and just glide it on. One swipe. You can do one swipe, but I go in with like two to three swipes. And this literally lasts the whole day. Recent favorite of mine. My setting spray combo during this whole trip has been my MUA Pro Base Fixing Spray with my Milani Make It Last Matte Setting Spray. These two has been keeping makeup on for the whole day. Like I have been enjoying them. Go in with my MUA first. Allow that one to dry it down. Mm, 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 mm. And now the Milani Make It Last Matte Setting Spray. Even though it is a matte setting spray and the weather outside is cold and I have dry skin, I feel like the combination of these two just, just works well with my skin, especially because I went over my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream first. Bear in mind that I've already gone with my um, skincare routine and I heavily moisturize. I just lock it in place with the Charlotte Tilbury and then my doing setting spray, then a fixing spray, then a matte setting spray to make sure that I don't get shiny quickly. Ah, oh, this combination just it works, it works amazingly. Mascara for this trip is the Benefit Fan Fest Mascara. I'm just gonna apply this on to my lashes before I apply my falsies, because you guys know I am a false lash babe. But this mascara is definitely one of the best mascaras that I've used. It definitely gives me lashes that I don't have, but somehow, it makes it look like I got lashes. The powder blush, we are using the Romantic Flower Will Make You Blush blush palette. But I have really been enjoying this powder blush from Timu. Like, it's really, really good. I used this shade right here. Sometimes I go in all three, but this is my favorite shade of the three in here. And I just applied that on my cheeks. It's just so pretty. So pretty. Now tell me that isn't stunning. Tell me. I dare ya. You can't cause you'll be lying. You will be lying. Before I put my lashes, this is the time that I will go back in and fix up my brows from all like the makeup brushes touching it and you know it messing up. So I use my Benefit Brow Zing Pro Palette with this angled brush that I got from Timu or Shein. One of those two. I just grabbed the third shade here and I just fix up my brows where I need to. It's mainly the top part of my brows that gets, you know, brushed out. So I just make it more defined because I don't have brows, so I need my brows to be, you know, quite defined. To step down my lashes, I'm gonna be using my She Glam All Eyes On You Eyeliner Pen Glue with my falsies. I 
And fair enough, I haven't been adding mascara to my lower lashes. I've literally just been leaving my eyes like this. And now we're gonna do lips. My lip liner combo has not changed throughout this trip. We're still using ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Pitch. And we're deepening it up with my Primark Eyeliner in the shade Brown. I did try to go to Ulta to get some more ColourPop um, Lippy Pencils whilst I'm out here. But they don't have it in store. I might go to a bigger altar if I can't find it there. I'll just order it online and get it delivered to my hair. I was in London. I didn't bring really a sharpener and I'm literally scraping my lip now. But this is lasting for the next two days. For the center of my lips, I'm using my new She Glam lipstick in the shade Have No Fear. Honestly, stunning, beautiful lipstick. It's just the perfect nude. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this in the center of my lip. It is so, so creamy, so pigmented. Like, it's a little bit that I just applied. I don't know that. It is a matte lipstick. And you guys know, I don't really do matte lipsticks, but this is really, really pretty. But going on top of that with this Morphe Make It Big lip gloss in the shade Natural Bond Kisser. And then our NK lip gloss on top. And this is pretty much the look that I have been wearing in New York. It is the look that has been giving me a lot of compliments from the New Yorkers out here, so... We must be doing something right, you know? So, cousin, that is pretty much the end of today's video. Let me know what you think about this look down below. And let me know if you've been to New York as well and what was your experience like. Thank you, cousin, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And inshallah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, cousins.